Hey, beautiful people. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back. Welcome to Sensible Decor. I hope that you are doing well. I thank you for stopping by my channel. If this is your first time stopping by, you don't know how you landed here, I say welcome. If you are a subscriber, I thank you for subscribing. Your subscription is helping my channel and I appreciate you. And I say welcome back. So today, in today's um video, I'm going to be showing you how I curve text, how I create curved text in order to put on different substrates. In this case, I'm going to be putting my text onto a plate. Going to be doing a water slide plate and that's going to pop up up here in the corner to show you the plate. My plate is curved and I want my text to go around the plate. So um, for it to go around the plate, I need to be able to, to, to bend that, that text. And so what I've done is I've created a template. My plate is eight by eight, and I have an inside circle on that plate that is six by six. So to show you how to create this template, I'm just going to go over here to my drawing tools. I'm going to grab the ellipses. All right, guys, I'm sorry. I lost my signal and my connection, but we're back. So what I was saying was I need to curve my text around this. And my plate is eight by eight. And there's an inside uh, section of the plate where the picture is going to go. And that circle is six by six. So to create this template, I'm simply going to go over here to the left panel. And I'm going to draw, get a drawing tool and it's going to be the ellipses. And I'm going to draw a circle, holding my shift key and dragging down. I just drew a circle. It doesn't matter what size. And I'm going to now click on that circle. This is going to be my outer circle, the outer circle of the plate. So this is going to be 8 by 8. And I'm up here in my tool, my toolbar. All right. And we got 8 by 8 circle. So that is basically that circle. You see it fits right on top of there. So we're also going to do a second circle and it's going to be six by six. Back over here to the drawing tool. I'm just going to draw a circle in this one. I'm going to go up to the sizing panel and I'm going to make it six by six. So this gives me a template, a replication of what it is uh, that I'm going to be putting my text on. So this represents my plate. So now to center them, and they actually look pretty centered, I'm going to click on the outside one, hold the shift key, click on the inside circle. I'm going to go up here to the toolbar, and we want to click on this one that says center. Not center the page, but center the, the circle with the crossbars in it. And that you may not have seen anything move because I had them pretty centered, but that puts them in direct alignment, okay? So I'm just going to group them together and I'm just going to move them over. Okay. So now we have two, two circles here. Okay. And they're locked together. So I'm going to be putting my text right in the middle of this, the two circles, because that's going to be the inside rim of my plate. So now what we're going to do, and I'm going to move off a little bit, move that out the way, is now we're going to work with the text, okay? So in working with the text, I'm going to grab my text bar, I'm going to type my text, and I want my text to say, true love is forever, okay? That's what it's going to say going around the top of the plate and on the bottom of the plate. I'm going to grab the text again, and I'm going to put Al and Louise, okay? Now, in working with this, we're going to work with the top of the plate first, um, but I also want to change the font. So I'm going to select both, and to do both, you're going to hit your shift key and your mouse. And I'm just going to go over here to my text, which is on the right side of your panel. 
and open up the text style panel. And we're just going to change the font. Now, I know that I want my font to be Lucinda Bright. So up here where the text style is, I'm just going to highlight that and change it to Lucinda, Lucinda Bright. Okay. And you see it changed my font. All right. So now we're going to change the color so that we can work with it. And my vinyl, because I'm going to be using vinyl, is black. So I'm going to make both images or both text images black. All right. Now, in order to bring this text over and have it curve, we need to double click on the text and you'll see that small bar, that small circle in the left hand, bottom left of the text. You're going to grab that with your shift key and you're going to move it. And as you see, as you move it to that circle, now it's on the outside rim of the plate. I don't want it there. I want it on the inside. So I just drug it down a little bit and it fell into that spot. Okay. Now for this plate, I have a lot of text um, on the top, but not so much on the bottom. Usually I use words on these plates that are, it's not so wordy. But in this case, I'm using something that um, is a little bit more wordy. So as you use that, that circle, as you hold your shift key and drag it, it will move. Okay. So I like it there, but I am going to get it up off of this rim because it's too close to that rim. So I'm going to double click it again. And this outside slider, slider bar here, if I slide that, I don't want to slide the whole thing. It will slide my text. If you get right up on it there. Okay, so you can see if I slide it all the way out, it's way over the rim on the plate. So I just want to find a good placement for it. And it may mean that I need to change the size of my font because I don't want it touching the rim because my gold my plate has a gold rim um around the plate and so I want it truly in between these two lines so what I'm gonna do is take my shift and my mouse and drag it over my left shift and um on my mouse and hold down on it and I am going to drag all the way over the letters Making sure that all letters are included. And I'm just going to go back up here. And I'm just going to change the font size. I'm going to make this a 60. So we're going to start there. And if we can make it bigger, we will. But 60 sounds good to me. So now I'm going to go back to this little, this little uh, hanger here. Handle here. And I'm going to reposition it. Okay, now that looks good to me. It's a little off. Okay. But that's how it would look on the plate. Okay. And we're going to do the same thing for the letters here. Now, because this is 60, I at least want to make this 65. I want it to be a little bit relative, so I've changed the size. Maybe I haven't to 65. There we go. It's not changing. Hold on. I highlight it and then change the font to 65. Okay, so it made it a little bit smaller. Same deal. Double click it. Grab the handle here. Bring it down to the bottom. And now getting it in there is going to be a little bit tricky because you can see it's upside down. And so this is where you really have to play with it. Now it's on the inside of my, my rim. I don't want it there. I want it on the outside. And so I have not found a true um, one and done way to get this done. And so 
I play with it and try to get it right in there, going slow because sometimes it'll hit it where it needs to be. All right, so if it doesn't, I'm going to put it there, but I'm going to use my slider bar. Oh, I don't want to slide the whole thing. There we go. To bring the letters down. Okay, so using that slider bar, slider bar, I just drug it all the way down until my, my wording was in between those two uh those two rims, two circles. And double click it again. And again using that that handle, gonna reposition it. Okay. Now, so that looks like that. This is what it would look like on my plate, okay? And I, I think I'm okay with that. I'm checking up here, and you can always zoom in just to see what's touching because this is how it's going to cut. It's going to be on a curve. You want to make sure that it fits in there. And this here, perhaps maybe a little smaller. Let's see what 62 looks like. So I'm going to double click it. I'm going to highlight all of my letters. Go up here to my toolbar. Change that size to 62. It's going to make it a little bit smaller. Double click on my words. And kind of reposition it. Okay. Uh, I don't like. The way Al looks, it looks like it's the, not the right word. And maybe that's because so I'm going to go in here with my text and change that. And just on the send a break. I'm going to do Al. It looks better like that, but I'm going to do Al word. Which is his name. And reposition it. It looks better. That owl just didn't. It wasn't working for me. All right. So depending upon what your text say, play with it a little bit. Get it where you want it. Okay. This one, I think I'm going to slide over just a little bit. Okay. All right. So now what we need to do is we want to get these words curved in this curved form, the fashion that they're in, but we want to get them off of the two circles. So what I'm going to do is first double click here. If the true love is forever, I am going to highlight the entire sentence, word, phrase, whatever it is. Go up to your toolbar and you want to weld. Weld that together. And now I'm going to go over to object and group it. So now it is one piece. Okay, so we can move that over. We're going to do the same thing for the words on the bottom. Highlight the entire phrase. Come up to the toolbar. Weld. Go over to the object. Down to group. Group. And this is now one piece. Okay, so now I can actually get rid of my template and this would go on my mat to be cut okay just like that I will put a text box around my words get in as close as possible keep everything together And group it. All right, and that's going to be one cut. And then the second, the bottom portion. And to put the weed box, you're just drawing a rectangle, rectangle around your wording, bringing it in as close as you can. And this is just to keep everything. Contain. Okay. 
easier to weed on your weed off of your mat to weed the vinyl away and then you want to group that right click group okay and so both of these will go on the mat and they're gonna cut just like that okay and then you're gonna position this once it's taken out you're gonna position that on your plate in that circle fashion so that is that that is just how simple simple that is you would send it to your mat and then it's going to cut okay so i'm gonna plug mine in and turn it on My machine is now on, but it's not, uh, my machine is not connected to uh, the internet at this point. So, that would be that. Uh, cut this out, put your transfer paper on top, and then we'll lay it on the plate. And so, I'm going to show you just how I put this on my plate, but this video was for um, the purposes of showing you how to actually cut the text. But I will show you using my plate uh, from another video. I'm going to insert that in. Just how I put that on to my plate. But that's that. So um, hopefully this video helps you. If you have ever wondered or wanted to know how could you curve some text to go around something. You wanted to cut it and you didn't want to just cut it in a straight fashion. You would do that. Um, you would follow the same steps regarding what size uh, or what shape it is that you're trying to cut um, to to actually get it to form the shape that you're looking for. So hopefully this helps you. If so, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to hit the subscription, the subscribe button. I bring different videos, not so often, but often enough, often as I can. And you never know what you may find that may actually be helpful to you. So I thank you for stopping by. And until we meet again, peace.